today we're going to be looking at the number one SH figure art Skoku that you need to buy in the only one, really, if you're going to even buy one. But the trick is, it's not SH figure art, is it? It's demoniacal fit, and I'm not British. <laughs> I should just redo this intro. Let's look at demoniacal fit. Goku, I can't hold a box this Video is gonna be weird. <laughs> so if you are a uh, if you're a Dragon Ball fan, I think we're gonna have one of the best figures you could possibly get. That's not made by SH Figure Arts. And the weird thing about this is that the back of the box looks like SH Figure Arts, and the front of it kind of looks like some of the older boxes that they've done. Uh, it's weird. I don't know what's going on here, but it's demoniacal fit demoniacal, not demonical, which I've seen written a lot. We're not here for boxes. Boxes don't mean nothing to me. Actually, that's not true. I, there are a lot of brands I really love boxes of, the, the boxes of. Brain, put yourself together because we got a review to do, okay? I'm talking to me. There's no sleeve in here, which means there's no instructions. So you better know how this stuff works, folks, because they're not gonna tell you. What's really gonna stand out with this line uh, from an SH figure arts right out of the box is the fact that it comes with a stand. And you know that Daddy Nostalgia loves himself some stands. I should never say that again. So let's take it out of the plastic, why don't we? If you put the stand together, you'll notice a couple things, okay? It's got some extra bendy spots, which I like because it gives you some variety. It comes with these little claws that you clamp on, and then uh, it gives you the old reach around, which is gonna really help Grab you, grab from the crotch area and hold your figure so you can do some really cool dynamic poses. So you heard it here first, folks. I love me a good reach around. Stand. The problem with the base is that it's got these three holes, which I would think, you know, with my brain hole, that these are gonna go in there. You just pick the one you want. But guess what? I can't get them out. I push so hard with my little tweezies that I put holes in. <laughs> I don't know what to do. I got some scissors. I could try scissors. There's, that's, I put more holes in it. All right, I love a good stand, but this is, uh, it doesn't work. The, the reason why it doesn't work, folks, is because you go from the top. <laughs> no, I'm stupid. I'm stupid. <laughs> now I got the hiccups because I'm so stupid to go from the top. I dug it out, but I didn't need to. I just needed to push it down. I'm so stupid. I'm a stupid man. Why do you guys watch this channel? This is the channel of idiot, man. How many points did I win for doing it like a big stupid person? What I like about the stand, now that my, uh, you know, whatever. It's got screws and nuts so you can tighten this thing up and have a really good mounted setup without it, you know, being all wonky. Okay, so let's talk about why this thing is such a good deal, all right? This was purchased from 5K Toys, link is in the description. You know, look, that's it's always gonna be down. Just look, okay? Now, what is so great about this figure? Um, uh, it's over here, the accessories. So we get four face plates in addition to his default one. He's got fists on by default, but look at all these extra hands. Boom, and this one, which is, uh, a thumbs up or if believe it or not if you flip it around <laughs> oh it's a thumbs down did not 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 approved I don't know what's wrong with me so let's dig back into this figure I'm wondering too about this overhead camera what can I do man I've done white balance uh, so many times and I, I don't know how to get this color to come across this is more muted than it looks it's more it's more vibrant over here on this monitor uh, it is more muted here I'll be right back. Let me see what I can do. I've done the best I can to white balance this thing. It seems a little blue to me. Whatever. This is the closest I can get to represent the true colors behind this guy. Is it going to look any better over here? No. Couple things to notice. He's got no symbol at all on his shirt, uh, front or back. So this is a very specific time frame of Dragon Ball. But he's pretty muscularly, pretty muscularly, he's looking pretty good. I don't know. I've, I've lost it all drive. Where was I? Face plates, he's got a bunch of them, I'm happy. All the hands, the thumbs up. You're, you're getting a little bit extra stuff here, price point wise, you normally get a, a Goku like this for $34.99, okay? So there you can see the difference between the setups, right? You get four face plates by default here, you get the hands, one extra hand there. Look at how many extra hands you're getting. How many is that? So the biggest difference is you're gonna get an extra hand with his fingers up and then you get this thumbs up and then you get these 
for faceplates. And there are different versions of Goku. This is from Superhero. There's the one that is a little bit more orange like this. That is uh, the Saiyan Rays on Earth. Different faceplates, different facial expressions. I like the skin tone of this one. This one is not as extreme as Saiyan and Rays on Earth. And if you like this desk mat, guess what? Yeah, it's I drew it and you can buy it. Links in the description, go check it out. So let's take a quick look at all these accessories. We got this additional faceplate in here, which is a nice gritting, I'm ready for battle face. Then you get this one, he's angry. He's shooting some blasty do's or some blasty don'ts. I don't know what's wrong with me. We have this faceplate, which is a little bit more of a smirk that is Kind of a rare thing. This is usually that moment when he realizes he just gained the upper hand. He's usually not super cocky like that or, you know, like grimacing or whatever. This faceplate looks pretty good. This is what I'm talking about, folks. I love a good classic Goku happy, uh, you know, he's just, he's always a, a very loving character when he's not fighting. And sometimes even when he's fighting, he's like, hey, I'm just doing this because I want to see if you're that strong. But the quality behind this is really fantastic. They've done an excellent job. It's very comparable, if not better, visually than SH Figure Arts. The faceplate that comes on there by default is just the standard one. And again, we've gone over this a little bit, but he's got these little fisties. So you get a left and right of this hand, which could be used for like a, a, a stance hand or could be for shooting some key blasts. And this one, which is uh, kind of the same setup, just a little flatter. Then you get this one, which is definitely a classic fighting stance for Goku. Uh-oh, yucky, we got a yucky spot. It kind of looks like a he's got a nasty splinter in the skin there. This hand, which looks like his instant transmission, I, I don't know. You get the thumbs up, which looks fantastic. I love it. I like having additional stuff like that that gives a character a little bit more character. <laughs> so articulation, all that stuff, how the joints, do the head, does the head, uh, you know, move around? Is it too loose? Compared to this Goku, his head get, his head is super loose. And I'll be posing him sometimes and he just suddenly looks around the wrong direction. The thing I hate the most about SH Figure Arts Gokus are these sleeves, no matter which one I've gotten. Uh, it's stupid. It's a really, really bad design. You can see the costumes are different. He, he uh, the costumes, the clothing, the build's different, the pants, the upper, this is, there's a lot of differences here. Obviously this is from Dragon Ball Super, so it's gonna look different. This I think is a little more traditional, but you can see the difference even in his butt. He's got a wedgy looking thing over here. He's actually got some um, some thickness. <laughs> oh Lord, look at the difference in the musculature. Pretty big difference. The joints and stuff on this guy feeling pretty good. They feel tight, but not in like a really bad, like scary way. I feel like this is gonna hold up over some time. And usually I find out a little bit more after I've done like a whole posing segment, but just look at how good this Goku is. I do kind of miss having the belt tie to like for extra posing, but this is kind of a better look. I don't know. I, I like this. I kind of like him without it. Uh, I like the matte finish that they've done. There's, it's not consistently matte. So there's like a little bit of gloss going on here, but mostly it's got a matte look, but look at these shoulders. This is such an improvement, man. This is like a soft plastic. It, co it goes into the body through the butterfly joint. So you don't have to worry about those stupid sleeves getting in the way. That alone makes him better <laughs> than what SH Figure Arts is doing. Rest of the joints, they all feel good. Pretty standard what you'd see on an SH Figure Arts or most of these third party brands. Toe articulation, everything you need. It looks, it feels, it is fantastic. The other big thing I think is the, the head sculpt. The hair looks drastically different between the two of them. So you've got this kind of more flat from the superhero Goku from SH Figure Arts. And then this guy's got a lot more sculpting going on to show off that hair. And it looks thicker and different. And I don't know, looks more Dragon Ball Super. I mean, Dragon Ball Z, I don't know. You tell me, you think this is a better representation of a Dragon Ball Z figure? I wish I still had the Saiyan race on Earth just to show you and compare, but I think this thing is substantially better. And for the price, yes, it's an, it's no question. This is the one to get. It's only however much it was. DF Martial Artist Forever is just $53.99. And it's got, uh, you can get a damage box option. That's interesting. You save a dollar. <laughs> okay. Well, that's silly. But look, folks, a lot of times I review figures from five that I bought from 5K Toys and they, they're they gone by the time the video's over. So just be aware of the brand. Hello, say say hi, log in. Please bookmark it. I, do you bookmark things anymore? Let that be your homepage because that stuff pops up all the time. I think there's plenty of stock of this because it's such a hot item. Goku's are gonna do well no matter what, but good God, it's just, 
this is it. This is the Goku. That one was the definitive one for me before. Now he's a uh, literal garbage. Literally garbage. No, <laughs> but hey, this is it. It just looks so much better. I don't know. It looks more out of the show than the than what SH Figure Arts is doing. This is better. For the price, yeah, 34 versus 54, you're getting more stuff, you get a stand, you get more face plates. It just looks better, and it's in stock <laughs> versus trying to find these things in the wild. Anyway, if you enjoy the, just whatever the weirdest video I've made, I've, I've made in a long time, I can't even get the words out. What is this? Should I just redo the whole video? <sighs> Click the top link to watch one where I'm a little bit more composed. <laughs> and thank you so much for watching. We'll see you next time.